Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Sunday today, it is football Sunday. We went to Starbucks this morning. Wow, that's loud. That's a bit much. We went to Starbucks this morning. I got my pumpkin cold brew as usual, per usual. I'm with Scott. Scott gets the same thing every time, but he doesn't like the pumpkin cold brew. But um, he gets the tall iced vanilla latte with sugar-free vanilla and almond milk. Right, sweets? Yeah, well, I normally get a grande, but I got a tall this time. Yeah. But um, today, I am going to attempt to clean out the bedroom. It is really like a disaster, honestly. It is so messy. There's so many clothes and so many... <laughs> <laughs> so much makeup everywhere. Babe, F off. Honestly. What is it? <laughs> Babe. What is it? F off. You guys don't know this, but he constantly tortures me in the background of videos all the time. He always tries to shove his hand and finger up my butthole. And you <laughs> guys you, don't see that, what but kind that's of sick what he does. Thing are you saying right now? I'm just saying. Anyways, so I'm going to clean out the whole bedroom. Um, we are getting a king size bed and it's going, it's going to be delivered on Friday. So our room is really small. So I'm getting rid of our makeup table or my makeup table because it's broken and rearranging pretty much everything in there. So don't mind my hair, it's messy, but I'll show you guys what it looks like before because it is a disaster and then we will go from there. Also gonna watch football all day today. So I'm gonna be cleaning and watching football, doing fantasy, and making homemade barbecue chicken nachos. So let's do it. So this is what our bedroom looks like. I know what you're thinking. How did you let it come to this? This is really, really bad. Um, I need to get myself together, is basically what you're all saying. And I know this. So this is the before. Getting rid of this makeup table because the inside is completely broken. Um, I also never do my makeup right here anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of the whole thing. Um, I have two Alex9 drawers. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put one of the Alex9 drawers right here. And then the other one will be on this side of the wall since this is basically wasted space. We are gonna put the rug back in here and we're gonna have a king size bed. We're gonna have it facing, like pushed along this wall and out this way. The only thing is, is I'm really sad because I love my headboard so much. I'm so in love with my headboard and now we don't have a space for it because we're getting a king bed. And I think it would look probably a little ridiculous. So, and then this bureau right here, we're gonna put this along this wall. So it's gonna be a lot more open and there's gonna be a lot more room for the king size bed. So this is kind of the before. I'm gonna start taking care of all my clothes. And yeah, right now it is not good. So we're gonna move this Alex9 drawer out there, kind of near Scott's desk, but like tucked in. It's a bit heavy, sweets, because I know, I moved <laughs> there's definitely a lot of things in there. Careful for the wall, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, all right, muscles. Wow, babe. <laughs> Thanks. It's pretty easy. Oh, good. Should I move the, the rug out there? If that's where you want it. Yeah. This is perfect. <gasps> and the bureau's gonna go there. This is gonna look so much better. Let me move this rug. Oh, you got it? Thanks, sweets. You're gonna put this in there, right? Yeah, I'm gonna put it under our bed. This. Oh. What happened? Did you get crushed almost? Don't ask questions. <laughs> Hopefully, it, oh no, how are we gonna do that? We still have to get the things for the um, wires for the back of the computer that you guys suggested. Oh, I like it. Fits, fits well. Yeah. Ooh. Thanks, babe. Yeah, and that's not too obnoxious. I didn't want to put all of my makeup out here because some of you said that, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want that to be the first thing you see when you walk in is a bunch of like makeup and I don't know, I just felt like it didn't flow. But one of them will be good. Thanks, babe. 
I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna have to get you to move the other one though. Right now? No, in a little bit. But we gotta get this makeup table out of here. I'm gonna clear everything off first. Maybe I'll work on the clothes first. Maybe. He's at 10.8 points. I know. I'm doing good so far in fantasy. Knock on wood. All right. This is how it's looking so far. Makeup table on this side. Or drawers. Alex and I drawers on that side. And it seems already so much roomier. So our king bed's gonna go like right here. But I'm gonna clear out all this. I have so much makeup that I'm gonna have to go through and declutter. Like literally so much stuff. This is just one little small section. I put a bunch of makeup and miscellaneous products all here. And then I have two big Alex 9 drawers that are literally like I have way too much stuff so I'm going to try to declutter like I probably use five lip colors total in a year bold eyeshadows all about eyes like these are all mascaras all brand new mascaras all brand new eyeliners are you joking giveaways don't worry I still have things to give away which I will probably do once I declutter drunk elephant new skincare more skincare lashes and glitter first impressions which I don't even film first impressions videos I forgot I had this yellow beauty blender so pretty I just need a little bit more organization, you know? I have two Clarisonics, brand new. Haven't tried them. What is wrong with me? I gotta get it together. Quick break for an egg and cheese and bacon sandwich, turkey bacon sandwich. And yes, I accidentally smashed Scott's phone. You're so crazy, aren't you? Huh? What do you think? You like the new setup? Okay, so I moved things around. As you can see, we have a bit more room now. I'm trying not to be too loud because Scott's sleeping, but I just moved that over there. I don't know if I like the tapestry there. It's a little bit too long, so I kind of like smushed it. Um, but I wanted something to go behind this bureau. Maybe eventually like a mirror. I think a mirror would look nice. But this is what it's looking like. We're gonna move the bed once we get the king bed on this side and it's gonna go out that way. But there is a lot more room. I'll show you from the other side. I still have to do a makeup declutter as well. But that's what it's looking like. So, a lot more room than we had before. I'm going to declutter a couple of drawers with you guys because this is excessive. If I were to do everything, it would take way too much time. But I'm going to do my face mask and my moisturizer drawer. Let me see that ball. Ready? Also, I have to take care of all of that. Oh. Good boy. Okay, let's do this drawer first. So this is face mask. So some of it I haven't used yet. Um, so I'm gonna be putting some in a giveaway, some donating. These I actually really like um, from Patchology. So I'm gonna put these in the sheet mask drawer, which the sheet mask drawer is absolutely insane. I'm just gonna take the rest of these and put them in here get rid of this okay let's see watermelon sleeping mask I'm gonna keep mighty marshmallow bright and radiant whipped mask I'm gonna donate this or give it away I don't think I've tried that but maybe I have I'm gonna keep it over there for now let's see Lancome Hydra Zen mask I'm gonna keep this Pore Patrol. I actually have tried this a few times and I do like it, so I'm going to keep that. Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. Really like that for hydration. The cap's not on right. Okay, this I got in gratis. I'm going to keep this one. Actually, which one's anti-aging? I have two. I'm going to keep the firming one and I'm going to give away that one. This, there's not much left of this, so I'm just going to keep this out so I can use it up. Ofra Soft Pearl. I'm going to give this away. I've never tried this, but I'm going to give it away. 
Ultra Repair Cream. Oh, I love this. This smells so good. It's rosemary mint. This is a moisturizer though, so it's not a mask. Sand and Sky Smooth Relax Detox Cleanse. I think I'm going to throw this out because I've had this for a really long time. I think a couple of years now. So I'm going to toss that one. Volition Jet Set and Protect Leave-On Mask. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to travel with that one. Um, this one is the Honey Potion. I'm going to get rid of that one because I've had it for a while. Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask. I'll keep that. Overnight Peel Derma E. I think I've had this for a long time. I'm going to get rid of that. This I've had for a really long time too. It's the, I think it's Givenchy Hydra Sparkling Mask. I've had this for so long. I think this is expired. It says 12 months, so I'm going to toss that one. Even though it's so fancy. This is just trash, so yikes. All these sheet masks I can put in here. Pours No More Vacuum Cleaner. This I do really like. That works well. Clarins SOS Hydra Refreshing Hydration Mask. I'll keep it. This little one I'm going to toss because that one's a bit old. This I'm also going to toss. This is from Patchology and their lip gels. I think I only have a few left, but I'm going to toss it because I think it's old, probably dried out. This Tarte mask. I didn't really like this that much, but I'm going to toss it anyway because it's old. Um, Pixie Detoxify Eye Patches. I do like this. Keep that in there. I have a full size of this, so I'm going to toss this one. So that one's older. And then I just have a bunch of mini masks. I'm going to keep these all in here. What's this one? Eye patches. I'm going to toss this. All right, I only put a couple in like a giveaway pile because I know those are like brand new. I don't want to give anyone like used products. So I did pretty well, kind of, keeping all this, tossing all this, giving away that. All right, I'm gonna do one more drawer for skincare. So these are moisturizers in here. Let's see, the Tarte Mermaid Skin Hyaluronic H2O Serum. I think I'm gonna give this away. I haven't tried this, but I don't know. I'm just gonna give that one away. Let's see, Murad City Skin Overnight Detox. How many months is this for? 24 months. Um, I guess I'll keep it. It's probably gonna expire soon though. Purity Made Simple. I don't love this. And I've used it and I think it's a bit old. So I'm going to toss that one. Sorry if you can hear the football in the background. Um, we have the Ultra Repair Moisturizer. I do like this, especially for vacation. So I'm going to bring that. Keep it over there. I haven't even really tried this. I think I tried it once. Clinique um, ID. I'll keep that since it's new. What do you think, Puff? We have the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. I might give this away to a friend who's oily because I think I only tried that once. And I'm not really oily. Murad Nutrient Charge Water Gel. I'm going to keep that. Um, Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. I'm going to toss that because it's old. This is brand new. Fresh Vitamin Nectar Moisture Glow Cream. Um, we're going to keep this because I like the way it smells. I'm getting, oh no, Scott used this. Can't get rid of this because Scott uses it every night. I don't think it really does anything to be honest, but he uses it, so. Then we have the Sound Sleep Cocoon Dermalogica. I like this. I'm gonna keep that. I like the way that smells. Oh my God, this I'm obsessed with. It's, it is literally the best moisturizer, very expensive, but it is Immortal Divine Cream from L'Occitane. Wow, this is like, super anti-aging and plumping and firming and it smells good and oh, it's just like luxury in a bottle so we're keeping that for sure i also really like the regular loxiton um it smells like baby powder but i love it keeping that and i also there's so many moisturizers i love but i love this one too estee lauder daywear i only have a tiny bit left of this but i think it's pretty old so i'm going to toss it sadly and hopefully get a new one because i do love that Ultra Repair Barrier Cream. Didn't like this that much. I'm going to toss it. Um, Clinique Moisture Sur Surge. I'll keep that for Scott. If 
vitamin nectar we're gonna keep. What's back here? Oh, I forgot I had this. Glam Glow Good in Bed. We're gonna keep this. Oh, Strawberry Body Shop, so good. I think this is pretty new. I don't think I've tried this. The Corez Advanced Nourishing Sleeping Facial. I will keep that in a giveaway. Alginus Elevate. Ooh, I should be using this on my neck. Let's put this over here. Oh my god. I forgot I had this. I gotta leave this out too. There's so many things when you're like clearing, clearing your products out that you discover that you have. I'm gonna get rid of those things because they're like little mini babies. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for right now because I'm already like overwhelmed with products. All right, I am taking a break from cleaning the room and we are going to make barbecue chicken nachos. And a lot of you asked how we make it. So I'm just gonna show you the ingredients and kind of the process, but not like step by step because nachos is nachos. But we have the Santitas tortilla chips. And then Scott, what do you do with the, what do you do with the chicken? <clears throat> you right. put it in this? <laughs> Sear it in a cast iron. All right. The, this is uh, skinless. Boneless breast. Organic. Sear it. Doesn't have to be organic. I'm just saying what it is. Um, and then <clears throat> just use whatever spices you want, really. I use a little of, of this taco, and then I use like pepper, you can, uh, salt, pepper. Mm -hmm. you know, just whatever spices <laughs> taste good. And then I uh, braise it with, I slice this onion up first, put that in, then I put the chicken in, and then I put the, the uh, spices and braise it <laughs> with the, so. Okay, all Pour right. Pour a little in the cast iron and then put it in the oven and <laughs> finish it in the oven. Finish it in the oven, all right. So that's how he does the chicken. And then these are the cheeses we use, mild cheddar and mozzarella. We don't usually get this sweet baby rays. We usually just get the original, but they were all sold out. So I guess everyone was thinking the same thing today, making nachos on football day. So we just got honey barbecue chicken. I don't think that's honey what barbecue. Do with barbecue sauce. Babe. I'll tell you why they are you it. Gonna... It was on sale two for four. That's why. I Listen. <laughs> why do you have to put your two cents into everything and make everything more complicated, sweets? We also got sour cream. I'm trying to just say like a quick thing of what we're doing and you're telling like a five page story. Well, when you braise the chicken, you braise the chicken. I'm just saying how I do it. All right. Comes out tender and good. And All right. You know what? What do you want? Just boil? <laughs> okay. Just boil? Stop talking. All right, I'll show you guys the process, but he's going to do the chicken now. All right, so we have one layer of the tortilla chips, and then we do one layer of cheese. So we're gonna put some mild cheddar on it first. And we, we use cheddar and mozzarella. Mm-hmm. And Scott just made the chicken. It looks so good, and he tossed it a little bit with... Just a little BBQ. A little BBQ. We ended up finding that we had um, the regular Sweet Baby Ray's, so we didn't use any of the honey barbecue sauce. But this is gonna be cheesy and delicious, and it's so and good with this chicken. It. So we'll do this, and then another layer. Mm-hmm. I freaking love nachos. I could eat nachos or like anything like, like Mexican, like burritos quesadillas. I could eat that every day. I'd be a little hefty, but it's so good. Can you even stand that chicken? If you're vegan, I'm sorry. Cooked for an hour. Yeah, it took the chicken a whole hour to but it just be like shredded, shreds you know? Shreds apart. Mm-hmm. With forks. All right, we're going to pop this in the oven for like just enough time for the cheese to melt and I'll show you guys the finished product in a second. All right, so they just came out of the oven. They look so freaking good. So we're gonna eat these and devour. All right, I feel like my hair is getting frizzier and frizzier as the day goes on and I used that new dream coat from WOW and I thought it was supposed to be like anti-humidity but my hair is so poofy so, and I like drenched my hair with it. So I feel like it didn't work. Um, I'll try it again, but we're gonna eat now. We still have to move this table, so I'm getting rid of this table just because it's a bit broken. I don't know if we're gonna keep this chair or do anything with it, but I'm getting rid of everything here. And like I said, I'll show you the room one more time. We close the blinds, but a lot more open. And I feel good about it. 
But I'm gonna end this vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think I might do like a shop with me at Marshall's or TJ Maxx this week. So let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see that. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.